Hello everyone, welcome back to Dollar Sheet Tactical. Like I said, I would try to provide you guys more content and here I am. Today's video is how to make a steel armor stand. Now, what you're going to need is going to be roughly $50 worth of materials, provided that you already have basic metal working tooling, including an angle grinder, the consumables for the angle grinder, basic measuring equipment, like I don't know, a fucking tape measure, and a welding machine. What you're going to need is a four foot piece of one inch angle iron, two four foot pieces of half inch rebar. Now you could also do three foot, but considering my actual height, four foot is gonna make this a lot more comfortable. And then you're going to need a three foot piece of one and one quarter angle iron. Now, I have already gone through the Liberty off camera of marking out what I want, which is I have a line at two foot of the four foot angle iron, and I have a mark at one and a half foot on the three foot angle iron. Just gonna cut these in half real quick and then we can start the building process. Now, before someone says something fucking retarded in the comments, wear proper PEPE -E -E when cutting, wear a face shield, safety glasses, ear pro, preferably a respirator, and most importantly, wear gloves. I've seen people use angle grinders without gloves and it usually does not end well. Anyways, let's get to the construction. All right, now that we have our material cut, these two pieces of rebar are going to be the main body. The one inch rebar is going to be what holds our backer in place. I'm going to set them at a 12 inch gap. And these two one and one quarter pieces of rebar are going to be the feet that actually sit on the ground. All right, as for the pieces of rebar, I'm going to want and this is up to personal preference. I'm gonna want about eight inches of rebar to sit inside that top piece of angle iron. So I'm just gonna mark out eight inches on both sides. All right, so for this next part, I have them I have the first piece fixtured up in the table and I'm just going to cut about halfway into that rebar at the mark I made. All right, so now we have that first side getting ready to be tacked up. I have it basically fixtured. That way it'll be um, equidistant on both sides from the top of the frame to the legs. So let's get that tacked up. Today's welding will be done on a titanium unlimited 200 running 0 .30 uh, Lincoln flux core wire, DCEN. We got, we got about 130 feet per second at about 14.1 volts.
All right, now that we got it all tacked up, I'm just gonna hit it with a quick pass with the wire wheel. Get all that slag off there. And now we can tack up the other side. Now that we have both sides tacked up and hit with a wire wheel, go ahead and hit it with a full bead on each side. I'm only going to do one side, that way I can slide my backer in a little deeper and that way it'll get a little snug with the rebar also in there. All right, um, sorry I didn't show you all the welding. Um, it was kind of pain in the ass due to the way I have this table set up. But basically, we have full beads on this side and on the top of this side. And then it's welded where the two cross right in the center. Now all that's left is to put the feet on. All right, there we go. I have both feet welded on. Um, it was kind of pain in the ass basically what I ended up doing was centering them with the table and then leaning the stand against the table while I tacked them and then after they had been tacked I was able to run a full bead around the rebar on both sides filling in that gap. And it's time to see the finished product. Alright that's all done. This last step is optional but since I had a nice extra piece of rebar from a previous project laying around. I'm going to go ahead and just weld it right in here, and that'll give some extra support. As is the stand works, I'm just going to make sure it's a little bit sturdier. Here's the finished product, legs, cross, support bar, arms. Thank you all for tuning in. I will be back later with some more content for you. Stay silly and have a good day.